guys and welcome back to Damo Drives. Now I've been invited down here to HPC Classics to drive something a bit special. This car here, which is, to give it its full name, it's an Austin Healey 100 slash 4 100 M. M. I knew I'd forget Le Mans spec. Le Mans spec, there we go, a bit of a mouthful. But look at this thing. We're gonna talk around the car. This is Miles, who knows a lot more about it than I do. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Have a really good look around it because it's stunning. It's absolutely stunning. Talk about some of the intricacies. That engine is beautiful. And then take it out on the road and we'll chat about the driving experience. First of all, I suppose, over to you. Um, in terms of this car, I know it's been restored. Can you just give us a bit of history about it? So this car was originally red. It came out of the factory with red paintwork, um, red interior and a red hood. So it was a completely different car and it wasn't in 100M spec. So it's been restored over the last sort of 12 years um, and brought up to scratch. Obviously now in my favorite color. Um, you've got the 100M spec kit on the engine, um, obviously bonnet louvers and the uh, check strap on the bonnet, um, which was uh, needed for um, homologation if you're taking the car to Le Mans. Um, so it's got a little bit more punch than the original car had, um, enough to get it very sideways, nice <laughs> short wheelbase, no weight over the rear wheels. Um, they're known to be a bit of a handful, but they're actually really nice to drive. Um, so I'm looking forward to taking you out in it in a minute or two. Looking at the engine, which we'll do in a minute, um, it's so clean under there. But the car, you don't get anything like this. It's the thing with classics, isn't it? They are so different from your modern cars. They're built with love, care and attention. I mean, these are all alloy bodies. So these are, these are you know, hand beaten in order to get to the shape that they're at. Um, there was a lot of care that went into these things. Um, unlike, yeah, shall we say a modern car that's just a pressed bit of plastic. They're, um, they're yeah, it's horses for courses. This one will reward you for driving it well, whereas a modern car will make up for you driving badly. Um, and that's where my love for these things comes. Oh, it does. It's, you, you're, well, I've had a look around inside and you've got some amazing things in there. It was like- We're quite lucky. Yeah, there was a few things downstairs. You're like, Where, where's the hill? It's, like, it's upstairs. It's like, you go up there. It's like a, an Aladdin's cave of cars that are, most of them are for sale. Yes, most, not all, most, but I mean, everything's for sale at the right price. So exactly. you know, come at me people. <laughs> yeah. So how much is this up for at the moment? This is at 74,995, um, being that it's fully restored and drives as well as you could possibly imagine. Um, and it's obviously got the right 100M um, LM spec stuff. It's, um, yeah, it's as good as they come. It's a lovely little car, so. Yeah, I'm really excited. This will be the oldest car I've ever driven on the channel. Oh, brilliant. There's no driver's aid. There's no nothing. It's nothing at all. My... It's you and your right foot. Yeah, that scares me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's no seat belts, wooden steering wheel. Yeah, got to be manly. <laughs> I had my, my Weetabix this morning. Um, all about the finesse. Exactly. So let's have a quick look under the bonnet and then we can talk about that. And then we're definitely going to get in before the... Looking a bit grey, isn't it? But yeah, we should... hit and miss. Yeah, we'll have a look under here first. It's Eastbourne, it never rains. So this engine looks stunning. It's so clean and I can see the badge over there on the new uh, air intake there with the 100M. So can you talk over this as you know this engine pretty well? So these are a 2.6 litre inline four. The early cars had an inline four, the later cars moved to an inline six um, and went up to a three litre, um, the, the Austin Healey 3000 yeah. as they're known. Um, they're a little bit more punchy, but this is the one I'd choose. It's a bit more characterful, um, has a really gruff growl when you get it moved up in, in the rev range. Um, so like standard um, engines put out, I think it's about 90 horsepower. Um, the Le Mans spec, which is this now has, um, gives you air intake, larger carbs, um, lumpy cam, and I'm trying to think what else they did, but there were quite a few modifications in order to gain a little bit more power out of the engine. Um, so this one was uh, rolling road dynoed before having those upgrades at 95. So it was nice and healthy. That's good. Um, Cause it's got a, this one's got a, uh, an upgraded cylinder head as well on it. Um, so I think it's got bigger valves, etc. So this, this is a very nice engine, um, very nicely built. And yeah, so it should put out somewhere in the region of about 110, 120 horsepower, I'm, I'm led to believe. Which so is plenty. It's more than enough in a car, yeah, that weighs 800 odd kilos. Um, and yeah, <laughs> rear wheel drive with no weight there other than yourself, basically. They're all alloy bodied, so they're, yeah, they're nice and light, good fun. Oh, I, just, yeah, I could just stare at this engine all day. It's, it's not like modern engine with you, all you just got is a plastic cover, can't see anything, but it's all been detailed under here. This is, yeah, this is how engines should look, as far as I'm concerned. That and if you've got a real race car, you don't want to have to be removing things. No. If something goes wrong, you want to get in the pits, 
replace it, sort it out quickly and get back out again. So you don't want additional covers. Oh. They hold in heat. Yes, that's yeah. great for a modern car, but no, these are, this is how an engine should look. I like the way I've got a grab handle. Do you know they're known as the FM handle? I'm guessing me is the... Uh... Well, that's the one, yep. Flip. Something along those lines. need to be driving quickly either. No, I think this is the thing with the older cars. You've got to have a, a bit more mechanical sympathy, not rushing your gear changes yeah. and things. Um, so there's there's enjoyment just in cruising along. Um, noise of the engine, flies in your teeth, um, save you buying lunch, I suppose. Now, I love the way all the looks we're getting from people. They're like waving and having chats in traffic with people. They're like, yeah, Everybody. lovely car. And Everybody loves them. Um, yeah, if, if any of you guys watching haven't owned or driven a classic before, I implore you do it because it will give you a better appreciation as to A, how far cars have come, how much you take for granted, and uh, probably make you fall in love with classics. I was um, going to say how much you've probably lost in some ways. You've gained, you've yeah. gained with cars and probably lost some of the driving. Well, it's the soul and yeah, the experience of actually being in control of the car. Um, the difference in putting a car like this around the corners and a modern one, chalk and cheese. Yeah. If you can drive one of these quickly, um, then you're a real driver. <laughs> you look at people like Sterling Moss, and I guess a lot of people think, oh, he's just an old fart that doesn't really know what he's doing. Those guys do have to drive. <laughs> they are a different kettle of fish. Going quickly, that's the thing that's. Uh, yeah, they, they do I'm going to hold on to the uh, FM handle. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be able to get a lap otherwise, I think. I don't think this guy thought we were going to trouble him with his new MX5, but uh, <laughs> he's probably got a shot. I bet we're having more fun, mate. Martins of the era. You adjust your trajectory mid-corner with the right foot and not with the wheel. Yeah, okay. You don't really fight with the wheel, it's yeah. all, all on the throttle. Lift nose and lighten it. Yeah, it's going to be a completely yeah. different experience. It's of, a different uh, driving experience altogether. Yeah. Pull over and let you have a blast. Yeah, oh, definitely. to build up some moisture now. Yeah. <laughs> Don't cry, I know, it's, I know it's a great experience. It is, it is. Uh, <laughs> you've taken my classic cherry <laughs> and I'm emotional about I've it. I've totally destroyed it for yeah. you. <laughs> brakes are all right, they're good for the time, but they're not going to stand it on its nose like a set of bread motors. <laughs> it's just this view now, we've got out the front, you've got beautiful scenery that way, beautiful car this way. And Ooh. the beautiful men in the, in the seats. Exactly. Like it's so lucky. <laughs> what view is oh. What more could you ask for? Oh. Oh. Right, first thing as well, don't stab yourself on the handbrake when you get in and out, because it can be a little bit savage. <laughs> I'm going to hold the special handle. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, we are good, sir. Thank you very much. No worries. Ooh. I wonder how long it'll take you to get used to the gear shift. It's actually not bad. Oh, right. Hang on, the pedals aren't quite where I thought they'd be. Yeah, they take... I'm expecting it to be about... It all takes a little getting used to. I also had um, a Mark II Sprite um, oh. from 61. So yeah. really, really rare. Um, it wasn't a frog eye. Yeah. It was the Mark II, but still made in line and uh, 948cc, twin, twin SUs, made loads of noise, didn't really go anywhere. Um, the same kind of thing, but I could not drive it. I've got relatively, I've got size 11s that are quite uh, wide, yeah. and I had to take my shoes off to oh, be able really? to drive it. I couldn't drive it with any shoes. Um, whereas this has actually got a little bit more space. So. Just about, right, let's have a look at this. So, the gear stick, three speeds with overdrive. Completely the wrong place I'm expecting. So we've got first this way and then across up to second, down, yeah, to, third. down to third. Yeah, so, so completely counterintuitive. So is it going to be straight? Is that? Yep, straight down. That is actually that'll first. Be, that'll be you in first. One more. Yeah. So. Oh, not. Blimey. It's, yeah, it's not power assisted, is it? No. It's. No, uh, no, no, no. Yeah, I've just. It's you I've not car. driven anything without power assisted steering. So. Have you not? No. So the steering is quite light on this. Um, this isn't as harsh as others. Um, yeah, okay, because the car's nice and light, it really isn't too bad. I am going to take this quite easy. Good to go. It's like you said, it's going to be the brakes that, for me, that are going to take. I mean, for a car of the 50s, this is a very, very good thing for you to drive. This, this is as well put together and drives better than like anything else out there. They're a phenomenal car and this is a great example. So, if you don't like this one... <laughs> I'm dead inside. Yeah, yeah. The the brakes I'm finding is nothing happens for a little while. Nothing, nothing, nothing. And then they will bite. And then, geez, I'm gonna have. I don't need to go to the gym. In fact, I don't go to the gym, but <laughs> I need to get one of these. We'll have to take you out of the TVR next. Oh. Now that's manly. The steering's about three times the weight. All the controls are much heavier. Um, Van, it's got enough power to want to kill you every five seconds. So I'm sure you'll like that. This steer. Uh, like I said, this is, I can't even put it into context of, it's got no relationship to anything I've driven. I can't, it doesn't steer the same, doesn't feel the same. The radials will have a, a, an influence on that too. Yeah. Where's the gear stick? It's there somewhere. Oh! It does pull, doesn't it? It does. Cool. My eyes are definitely, uh, <laughs> My eyes are watering now at a, an alarming at rate. Blind. Not completely. I'm gonna have to. Now this is one thing I wasn't expecting. Was to not my be able to see. not being able to. See. You have to have set for a windscreen wipers fitted. <laughs> yeah, you definitely need glasses of some sort. I should have bought bigger. You can see why all the racing drivers had their goggles on. You'd be knackered otherwise. I'm gonna. Yeah, get streamlined. Yeah. Go even faster. <laughs> what do you think of it? Oh, it's awesome. It's. I mean, oh, there was a gear there somewhere. Possibly. Yeah, there are. There's three. It's, right. it's so far across. It's like, where's the gear stick? I think it's around here somewhere. Well, I learned to drive the 61 Series 2 Land Rover, and this is a joy in comparison. Really? Yeah, the Landy's, um, the, the, you'll find one gear's in a different postcode to the next. <laughs> um, so this, is, this isn't too bad. This is like a short shift in comparison. That, and if you drive it quickly, you feel like a hero, which is what they're all about. Yeah, I'm going to take, I'll leave the hero to you, as you've driven it more than me. Um, but it's, it is, it's brilliant. It's so exciting. That was a, that's a fly. Um, <laughs> it's so exciting and you can feel all the road and like you said, it's just me. It's not, there's no electronics in it. I don't know if there's anything. Everything that happens is because you're doing it. I love the exhaust, everything sort of burbling and 
Yeah, once the oil gets warm, they just get better and better. Yeah, the, the, the dials are slightly obscured by the steering wheel, so... Uh, oh, they, they're only there as a cursory. I don't think they expect you to look at them. <laughs> We're doing like 40, what's that, 40 odd mile an hour, and it feels like... You feel like you're doing about 200. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Has there been a point at which you haven't been smiling? No. See, that's where these win. They're special, whatever you're doing in them. Oh, they are, we're, you know, just pottering along at not a lot of miles an hour, and I'm having the time of my life. This, this is one of the most special cars I've ever been in. We're winning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Come and see me for your next classic, or your no. first classic. Oh. It's just so special, isn't it? it yeah. I... Oh, a bit of movement. A little bit. It wasn't intentional to move the car. It just, I think, like you said, it's the radials on here that just caused that. Yeah, that it starts, it starts the car moving once you've got the momentum. And it's another thing, they're quite controllable when they break away. Yeah. Um, they don't have tons of power and heaps of torque like a modern car. You've got time to have a think about what's going to happen. Yeah, you've got finesse with the steering wheel and you've become accustomed to, like I say, you adjust where the car's going using your right foot yeah. uh, mid-corner. You, you use that to change your, you know, your angle of attack just as much as the steering wheel. Oh, that's better. With the clutch or the gears that gently... Yeah, dip, is... dip the clutch well before. Let, yeah. Make sure the revs come down. If the revs are low, it'll change really easy. Yeah. If the revs are still high, because they've got quite a heavy flywheel, they'll um, more difficult to get you right. Oh, nearly. This much fun in an Austin Healy Sprite or uh, you know an MG Midget that will cost you under ten thousand pounds. You know, get a nice one with a twelve seventy five um, engine in it, yeah. and it'll be just as quick. It'll give you all the same feelings. It will cost bugger all to look after and maintain, and it'll put that huge grin on your face. I've not stopped smiling. Well, it's a mixture of smiling and my mouth just getting blown open by the wind, but. In here, it's like yeah. I, I understand the they appeal. They pull on now. your heartstrings. Oh they? yeah. So this has been one of the most amazing driving experiences I've had Please, ever, you like it. ever in my life. It's not what I was expecting at all. I wasn't sure what to expect, but it's utterly brilliant. They're not as rubbish as people would expect, even. No, and like I said, I think if I had. 74, 75 grand, I would most definitely be coming down to see it um, because it is, it's lovely. It is big grin factor. You don't drive quickly to get anything out, you know, to get the best out of it. Um, so you don't need to, to enjoy No, it, no, just, just a massive thank you for letting me have a go in this. I'm sure this will be sold very oh, quickly pleasure. and- Well, let's hope so. Hopefully, as long as this video goes well, we can do some more things together and... I'm sure there'll be other cars that people will be this. interested in. <laughs> so guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I've loved it. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Comments are always welcome. And remember to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.